Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mritan Gamaya Hello everyone, Namaste. My name is Siago Namaste. I work with Ayurveda Yoga and Jyotish. I have a lot of videos in Portuguese and I'm recording this uh, playlist videos Jyotish by Namaste in Portuguese. Uh, this is number 67 in Portuguese, it's going to be the first in English, but okay. Uh, the last video was so amazing that I said, okay, it's time to start to record in English. So we are going to get on the train and uh, we are going to talk about now on karma currents. And the last video was about the karma vortex. If you speak Portuguese and you want to, to help to translate it, please contact me. It's going to be very helpful, but now we are going to start from this point on, okay? So, let's go. Please fasten your city belts. Namaste. Okay. So, uh, here there are several information that we are going to talk about uh, that I recorded in the Portuguese video. Um, First, we are going to start to talk about the different layers of uh, existence, of material existence, according to yoga. So in the first layer, we have what we call Anamaya Kosha. This is the first layer. It's uh, in the shape of the body. And the Anamaya Kosha means the layer that is formed by Ana, food. Ana here, that it's double N. Anamaya Kosha. So this is the first layer. Anna with two ends. Maya, that means kind of illusion, Kosha layer. And the second layer, this one that it has almost the same shape of the first one, it's called Pranamaya Kosha, that is related to vital energy that is related to prana, that is related to our breathing capacity, and also with our, our sensations. The third layer is called Manamaya Kosha, that is related to manas, and it's mainly relating to things that uh, we experience with our feelings and our emotions. Our thoughts, in a bigger, in a more spiritual sense, are related to this fourth layer that is Vignana Maya Kosha. Vignana. Um, that is related to our buddhi, to our intellect, to our capacity of discrimination. And the fifth layer is called Ananda Maya Kosha, that is related to our bliss shelf. Uh, it's related to our capacity to experience divine existence. So, here we have first, second, third, fourth and fifth layers. And then this can be related in Jyotish. The first layer mainly to uh, Udaya Agna, that we call ascendant. And the second layer also. This means our body and our breath and our vital energy and uh, things that we look very densely in the chart. The third layer, the Manamaya Kosha, is mainly related to Chandra. That is uh, implying our emotions and our feelings and our sensations that are recorded in our um, memory. And when we reincarnate, usually these impressions pass through to the other uh, lives. The fourth and the fifth layer can be more related to a Surya. In a sense, there is more subtle impressions and usually these are not reincarnating just like from one life to another. They are stored in a more um, subtler aspect of uh, intelligence, of experience, and this usually can be uh, fully accessed by uh, meditative states of being and uh, also inspirational mode. 
moments. <coughs> okay, so this approach, this uh, Pancha Maya Kosha, these five uh, um, layer, layers of existence are also related to Pancha Mahabodhi. But not, 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 it's not the time to go into these uh, elements. We are going to go to the second part of this um, information here in the board. <clears throat> you know, according to uh, Vedic philosophy, we are just like uh, small pieces of flame that sparkle from the um, fireplace. The soul, the uh, primordial and also the fundamental um, vibration of existence that we call Atma, God, or something like that, is the source of uh, fire, is the source of life, just like the sun in the space. And it uh, emits, it uh, gives energy to the sun rays, and the sun rays carry the information of the sun as light and heat, but they are not actually the sun. In this way, Jiva are similar to the sun rays, and Atma is similar to the sun itself. These parts that are just like particles of the sun, it's going to go through reincarnation process. And when it realizes that the sun ray is not actually uh, isolated from the whole, it experiences the wholeness by itself, it again becomes Atma, it becomes enlightened, and it loses the identification with Jiva, and it can choose to rebirth or not. But this is another point, not the main point here. Here we have the ocean of karma. Here we are in the boat. And usually we are only uh, accessing superficial layers of our karma. There are more dense ones. Here it should be the black one, because um, the, the pilot was not working so well. But you can understand this part as the first part and the second part that is from this Anamaya Kosha and Pranamaya Kosha. During this layer, our consciousness goes in certain direction most of the time and we feel the existence from one point of view, just like the first level. But it was, when we go deep, we have more different layers also working. We have the second, we have the third, and somehow we have the fourth. So here you can say that it's a little bit of the third also. People have some uh, notion about their emotions, but not so much. So here in the middle, we have different layers of existence occurring. And please note that the direction of the movement in these layers does not have to be uh, uniform, does not have to be congruent. It can be a big mess, OK? And this uh, third layer is like more of the spiritual layer, but it still has some contact with Manumaya Kosha. Okay? So, we can say that Vasanas and Samskaras are recorded like this. We can put Samskaras more in the upper ones and the, the Vasanas in the more um, deeper ones. The point is that depending on how you look the chart, you are going to access different layers of karma and uh, they can be more prone to be working in one moment or another. We have, just like here, six different types of uh, approaches, perspectives that we should uh, be aware, at least, when we are using uh, Parashara system of uh, Jyotish. We have the Udaya Lagna, that is mainly related to uh, our past actions that are going to be needed to be experienced in this life, in this earth. We have 
uh, Chandra Agna that it's uh, uh, bridged from what <coughs> our soul seeks and Surya and our material existence implies uh, because Surya is more related to our, our search, our uh, wish, our seeking to experience divine consciousness. Uh, independent where is in your, in your chart, Surya, this is the uh, channel to be with uh, the sensation, the experience of divine consciousness. But in the middle, working in the uh, earth and, re and receiving energy from the sun, we have Chandra. There is a bridge from our uh, inner search to the sun and our outer search to the senses, to the material, to uh, terrestrial experience. Okay? So we have these three types of uh, main lagness working and we have the uh, chakra that it puts all the three together and it's good to see different um, currents of karma that are working. <coughs> Beyond that, it's also important to look the Atmakaraka in the chart, the uh, Graha that is taking the higher longitude in any sign. It's going to work as a kind of sun in your chart. It can be seven or eight, depending if you count Rahu uh, among them. But Ketu never is uh, considered Atmakaraka. And they are a very important uh, point of um, looking for more spiritual people that are looking to, to be in contact with their Atma. So the name Atma Karaka. Also we have the experience of Rahu and Ketu being uh, ascended and descended in a way that uh, it's the point that uh, our desire from previous lives obliged us to reincarnate in this life, not because of, of our previous karma, but mainly because of the, our desire to still be living in this planet and to find the solution of existence in this planet through Rahu. And also the Dasha Lord, um, you can use Vinshotari or you can use any kind of uh, Dasha system, but the point is that uh, considering that it's a Graha uh, based system, this is going to be a second ascendant in your chart related to Udaya Lagna in a way that it's working in this ground, it's working in this planet, it's working in this uh, material life mainly. But we can consider the uh, Lord of the Dasha as a joint mixture from Udaya Lagna and Chandra Lagna. All this information makes us understand why Chandra Lagna is so important and why uh, Nakshatra of Chandra is so important to consider the uh, actual behavior of the person in this life. Because it makes and uh, it tries <laughs> to make some adjustment between the karma that was pushed from other lives and also the search of the Jiva that is trying to come back to Atma through the Surya and this is going to work mainly with the Nakshatra that is molding, that is forming the behavior of that mind, that Manamaya Kosha from all the past experience to this life and to make it comprehensible, it's not a very easy task uh, most of the time this is very messy uh, but the point is that in Jyotish, depending on which perspective you look the chart, it's going to experience different, different um, energy patterns that we can call uh, vectors. Uh, and this, uh, as we can understand from an analogy from mathematics, when we study in the school, if you have just like one working in one direction with one energy and one size, the other one working another energy with another 
uh, size and another um, potency, the result of them is not going to be actually none of this. It's going to be the sum of them and probably this is going to make a very different direction from what is seen. Okay? So this uh, result here is completely different <laughs> from what one uh, karmic pattern is pushing in one moment and another one is pushing. That's why not always things that are uh, written in the way that this is going to happen because you have the sun in the, in the fifth house and he's the lord of the name. There's a lot of um, predicaments that are made, but these are only showing one piece of the puzzle. And from time to time, from dasha to dasha, this puzzle changes. And this makes, uh, just like we turn off the light of one room and then we turn off it, it this makes the uh, system much more uh, ambiguous. And this can make a whole system of, uh, not system, a whole uh, a field of probabilities where karma can go if you are aware or if you are not aware. If you are not aware, the currents that are pushing underneath in our more deeper emotional levels are going to control much of the uh, superficial levels. But if you practice meditation, yoga, mantra, and this kind of stuff, you can start to look Jyotish as a tool to understand these patterns in a way that you can see, oh, it's pushing me from this side and on the other side, but it's only pushing my identification with material life, not pushing my uh, identification with uh, the soul, with uh, consciousness, and with um, being in that moment without uh, being identified with things that are going on on that moment. In English it is a little bit difficult <laughs> to say this, but in Portuguese we have two different words of being. One being in the moment and one being actually being. So this being in the moment is more related to Chandra. And being in an essence is more related to the sun, you can say somewhere like that. Okay? So thanks for watching. And once again, if you speak Portuguese and you want to help to translate the previous videos, we have six seats <laughs> just in Jyotish and I remember there are a thousand more. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like, please uh, hit the button and uh, subscribe and comment and uh, see you in the next video.